You better tell him or I will. You better tell him. We gon' talk about wrong, right, death, life. Talk about anything you like, you better tell him or I will. You better tell him or I will. You better tell him. We gon' talk about broke, rich, real life ish. Speaking like this, I can't miss. You better tell him or I will. You better tell him or I will. You better tell him. We gon' talk about the old, young, smart, dumb. Let me show you where I'm coming from. You better tell him or I will. You better yeah. tell him. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, we are back. You better tell them or I will. Man, it's been a while. And I missed y'all. For real. For real, I have, man. And I, it's, you know, been doing my day job, selling that real estate. Things are uh, looking good in the real estate business. One thing about real estate, it never loses. So you just got to adjust with the times, you know. And uh, if you're a new home buyer buying a home for the first time or thinking about investing or anything like that, just make sure you can swing it in the downturn, you know. But uh, other than that, man, life is good, man. I uh, This past weekend, I was able to get out there and put a smile on people's faces. Because y'all know that's what I like to do, man. I'm here to put a smile on your face. I don't want you frowning. Life too good. <laughs> so uh, me and my wife had to, uh, didn't have to. Because remember, you don't have to do nothing. You can sit here and be a loser if you want to. But uh, we went to a, a wedding, and it was, it was super dope. Uh, did not know that this venue hosted weddings and uh the reason i'm bringing that up is because i love good service it's nothing like good service and uh real quick man we get to the we get to the venue and it's good and uh as y'all all know i'm alcoholic right and uh so i don't drink uh be 15 years uh sober in about six weeks here somewhere around there uh, no, it's about five weeks. But anyway, um, I asked this one way to first, let me set it up for you. So we out, you know, the ceremony goes down and, uh, then we out in the, in the cocktail hour while they changing clothes and doing all that. Y'all know how a wedding go. Um, and, uh, so, you know, we rubbing elbows, shaking hands, smiling, doing all that. And then my wife and, uh, her braider. Um, who, who's going to come to the podcast because she's a real dope hustler. Uh, sometime, in my opinion, the, the, the vehicle she's in is wrong. If we get her in another vehicle, boom, income goes to the sky. But anyway, um, Gary, take a picture of her. So I got the, the phone up. Gary snapped this picture of my wife and her braider. And a gentleman is walking in the background, and he sees me, and he stops. So I'm like, word good looking out but he's not even close he could have kept walking but he stopped so you know hey man i peeped that bro i appreciate it and he like right on what's your name bro all right i'm brother sean man you got some coffee he was like you want some coffee i said yeah so my man goes and makes me some coffee brings it back with oat milk cane sugar and the regular cna sugar right or white sugar so I use the cane sugar, boom, boom, and the oatmeal, right? And boom, give him the stuff back. I got my cup of coffee. Now I'm moving, right? Why do I drink coffee? I'm glad you asked. Because I used to have a drink at events like this. So it helps keep the body loose with the muscle memory, mouth to hand sensation, hand to mouth sensation. But anyway, another topic for another day. So then every cup of coffee, which was two more, uh, that evening, when he would bring it to me, it did not have the cane sugar, I mean, the uh, the regular white sugar. So he peeped that I didn't use the white sugar and only bought me cane sugar. That's detail, people. That's when you like your job. That's when you're paying attention on how to get me to pull my money out of my pocket and give you a tip. Huh? So I was really enjoying it, man. Uh, it was it was a nice venue, young couple, married in holy matrimony. You know, it was good, man. But uh, and then my man Maul celebrated, I think, twenty seven years of marriage. How many? How many you just celebrated? That's twenty nine. Twenty nine. My bad. Didn't mean to short change you. Twenty nine. So uh, Maul been out. Out on the cruise ship doing this thing for his 29th anniversary. So we all back and we locked in and loaded. And uh, we're going to put this content together and keep it popping, man. And uh, on my way over here, 
because again, we in Southern California and the wind is whipping right now. Uh, we own a, what they call a high wind advisory. On the way here, I had to pick up neighbors' trash cans, two of them, right? That's how bad this shit is, you know. Uh, last year, it popped one of the ceiling fans on my uh, patio, cracked the blade off like it shouldn't have been there. But anyway, you know, respect Mother Nature. But on the way here, man, I was thinking about um, this uh, lock in, be focused. Somebody call, can't talk right now, I'm locked in, right? And this is a video of uh, Pub, Pub Daddy, Diddy, Love, whoever the hell he is right now. But uh, it's a video where he's talking about locking in. And I can't talk to you right now, I'm locked in. And I began to think, because y'all know, I listen to a lot of things and people. Uh, I understand motivation and also understand inspiration. And with this locked in theory, let me ask you this. You ever said, I'm going to lock in, right? And then you locked in and you so focused and then something happens, flat tire or whatever. And then you go back to doing what you're doing the way that you've been doing it prior to locking in, excuse me, right? And what I begin to think about and unravel, the idea of locking in is great. The idea of locking in is great. But if I do not rearrange the thought process and do away or set aside, or lay aside, shout out, right? My past, my past will come up and create my future. What do you mean by that, Sean? I'm glad you asked. Shit, you better tell them or I will. I'm ready to lock in on this new venture, or on this idea, or on this new job, or whatever it is, right? But I haven't done away with what got me to this point of saying I need to lock in. Something has pushed me there and said this is what I'm going to do or need to do. Right? And and, and let me re reword that. Not done away with because the past holds value in it. The past has some information that I need to extract. So I don't want to just do away with it. Uh, so that was the wrong word. If I don't become at peace with my past, meaning the errors, the good times, the bad times, the things that have been said, right? That past gonna come back up. And it's gonna unlock that door that I thought I locked when I locked in. And then I'm wondering why nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't do away or I didn't set aside or become peaceful with what was. See, what was keeps coming to what is and then it makes it all over again and then I'm down for the count. Then I gotta reset and lock in again. And you could do that over and over, but one way to get locked in for sure is to do away with the past, to make peace with the past. And what I mean by that is go back in prayer and meditation, look at the errors, right? Become at peace with them. Learn a lesson on why did I make that error? Who was I listening to? Who was I not listening to, right? And then from there, I began to rearrange my thought process. I rearrange the conversation that I'm having with myself about myself. Then from there, you will see that the lock-in will happen by itself because I'm no longer talking to myself the same way. That is the biggest conversation, if not the biggest, it is the most important conversation you will ever have in your life. And that is the conversation with you about you. Hmm? The average human being has over 40,000 thoughts a day. 90% of them are negative. So when someone says something good about you, you throw it off. Hmm? Or 
you will take it and say, yeah, but. Because that conversation about yourself. Not good. So begin to change that conversation. Yes, I am that. Yes, I am great. And then start behaving right now. As if what is coming already is. <laughs> that might be a little bit too much for him. Let me repeat that. Start behaving now, Sean, as if you have the number one podcast, because we on our way. You better tell them or I will. Huh? We on our way. So Sean is conducting himself right now as if he's in 2030, rubbing the elbows with the Black Effect members, Wallow and Gilly. Huh? I'm already there. And the conversation I have with myself is good. It is outstanding. It is so outstanding that when I show up to a wedding, everybody stare. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? It's something about him. You damn right it's something about me. And it's something about you. Hmm? So you got to watch the people you're hanging with. Oh, you're doing too much. No, I'm not doing enough. Hmm? Because you don't think about yourself the way I think about myself. Hey, that ain't my fault, man. You better tell them or I will, man. I'm telling you. And I had to learn this, y'all. 1996, 7, go to sell cars. Something I said I would never do. And my dad gave me a book. You could pick it up. It's uh, by Shad Helmstetter called What to Say When You Talk to Yourself. And you better have your big boy draws on for this one because it'll spook you. Because when you start reading and it starts to show how you've been talking to yourself, it's going to scare you. You're going to think you're doomed because there's so many years of negativity. Stuff that your people done told you about you and you bought it. Ain't got nothing to do with God, right? Ain't got nothing to do with that power that created you. We went and picked it up. Why? Because these people had influence on us, man. We took their word as bomb. But you... Yeah, you, you get to recreate your life at any moment. Hmm? So when we see the Diddy philosophy of locking in or any other guru or motivational speaker, huh? we don't know what it took for them to get to that point. That's what they're not telling you. That's why they want you to sign up and pay them on a monthly subscription, man. Have you ever noticed these people you listen to? They don't give you the step-by-step -step play until you pay. Think about it. No one is telling you in a step-by-step -step way. Most people show you their success, but not tell you how they get there. But see, you with us. You see, you better tell them all. Will you gonna grow with us? We gonna grow together. Because it's going to keep getting better and better. And I'm going to share with you because I know that what I get for free, I have to share with you for free. I can't hold on to it, man. Now, that mean that do not mean that we don't charge no fees and nothing like that. OK, but what I'm saying is. I can't give you something. And then tell you to give me something It don't work like that. I got to give in order to receive. And once you once you your, your thought process switch around, you will see that as you give, you automatically see twofold, huh? Tenfold, or as they say, ten x. Another philosophy that we'll get into. You you ain't made a hundred grand. Person telling you you want to make a hundred grand, you need to be going for a million. Man, that that is so huge for some of us. And then some of us are so delusional that we don't understand what it takes to get a million. I don't give a damn what the cost of the dollar is. A million is a lot of money for some people. And then for some people, it is absolutely not enough. So understand where you at. Don't go buy a philosophy. And then you on a mission to make this philosophy yours. But then you don't know the steps to make it yours, and then you burn out. You feel depressed. 
you feel like a loser. Huh? Then you're talking to the people closest with you crazy. Because your goals and dreams ain't coming together. Man, stick around, baby. We're going to get it together. We're going to show you step by step on how to do this. All right? Man, hey, we back, baby. We coming again, man. We uh, we up and running. We up and running. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm getting to the point. Be patient. Tell them why I will. You better tell them why I will. You better tell them. Yeah. You are now tuned in to the number one podcast on the internet. Sean P. You better tell them.